Hello and welcome back to the sideboard here at Star City Games Nashville. I am joined by BBD, the one the only Brian Brown doing. How you doing, buddy? Good. Um, doing great. And it, it usually will take something pretty special to get you off of your reanimator plans, the deck that is taking you to the Pro Tour, the deck that you've been writing about for the past couple months, and you seem to have found that. I did. It's a card called Acidic Slime. Right. Oh, wait, that was... That was already in the old deck. Yeah. But you just... You, you, you started out playing Junk Reanimator thinking that Drag Tusk and Angel Serenity were going to be the parts that you had the most fun with. Right, exactly. And that, that's not the case. It's Acidic Slime. And so now you've decided to move on to a deck that slimes more. A slimier deck. Yes, exactly. Uh, this deck is just like dripping with awesome things. Uh, for one, you have a lot of like turn three Acidic Slimes because of Absence Pilgrims and Arbor Elves and Farseeks. And then once you put a slime in play, there is... Uh, Clone, Progenitor Mimic, Cackling Counterpart, and Restoration Angel to just to do it every single turn. To have it be slime time. Now, yeah. uh, Cackling Counterpart is a card that when I ask you during quick questions, what card from Innistrad Block do you want to cast before it rotates, you said Cackling Counterpart right off the bat. You have one in the main deck. I do. Um, and I think you had a second one up until somewhat recently? Uh, I actually started out with three of them. I ended up just dropping down a one. Uh, I, I, ha I have to play the card though. I can't cut it entirely. It's an instant, yeah. which, a lot of, which surprises a lot of people. It also has flashbacks, so it's actually two clones. And you obviously have just better things to clone than your opponents, so it doesn't matter that you have to target something on your side. Yeah, like that is a drawback sometimes, but it's not like a huge one. And you know, I got to do some cool things. Like I got to with ten mana in play, I had a Restoration Angel and a Thrag Tusk in play, and I got to. Uh, Cackling counterpart my Restoration Angel, blink my Thrag Toss, flash it back on my Restoration Angel, blink my Thrag Toss again. Nice. Yeah. Excellent. And so this deck um, really showcases the power of, before we go any further actually, what's the name of the deck? The deck is called Ooze Your Daddy because uh, Acidic Slime is the ooze that's the uh, progenitor of all all his like little ooze babies from like Progenitor, progenitor and, Mimic, yeah. exactly. Uh, and so you've got the Simic Mimic to make make the progeny go further. Indeed. Um, you also have one copy of Etherling in the main deck. That doesn't really go along with the come into play strategy that you have going on, but it's a very powerful card in its own right, and it probably will take over Standard at some point during its life. How do you, how have you liked the uh, Etherling today? Uh, it's been it's been really really good actually. Uh, there was a game I played where I was at 41 life and I drew Aetherling and I just slammed it and like. There's no way I can lose. My opponent's not going to deal 41 damage to me before, before Aetherling does its thing. Exactly. Uh, also, was able, was really good against John when I played against John. So yeah, I've, I've been super happy with the card. I'm glad I decided to play it. Now, the card of the tournament, as far as I'm concerned, so far has been Garrett Relentless in lots of different decks. Uh, chiefly yours, since you've been on camera a couple times and you're doing very well. But we've seen it in black green decks, we've seen it in junk decks, and we've seen it now in your Bant deck. Uh, Garrett Relentless, five abilities on a Planeswalker, it's nothing to sneeze at. What of what is the best of the five so far for you today? Uh, the best ability is definitely his minus one on the backside of searching for a creature. Uh, my deck is all creatures except for Far State pretty much, so uh, being able to search up like the right creature at the right time is, is pretty amazing. Like sometimes it's Aesthetic Slime, sometimes it's Restoration Angel, it can be like Thragtus Aetherling, Progenitor Mimic, Angel Serenity, like there's just so many powerful options. Now, out of the sideboard, you have even more powerful options, depending on the situation that you're in. One yes. of them is a card that I have seen you play in person several times in a different deck than this, which is Tristani, yes. Celestia's voice. Yes. Tristani comes in against the aggro matchups, of course, uh, but is much better in this deck because your progenitor mimic and your cackling counterpart actually make tokens of the cards they that you do. like to yes. populate. Yes, uh, it, it is a dream of mine to start populating some Fiend Hunters, Thrag Tusk, Angel Serenities. Sure. So yeah, Tristani is like much better in this deck than any other deck just because of that option. You haven't truly lived until you've populated an Aetherling. Right, I yeah. I think that's probably not a great one since it has the blink ability, but we'll, we'll move past I mean, you haven't that. truly lived until you've populated an Arbor Elf. Yeah, there right. you go. Yeah. Um, we have four voices for Surgeons in the sideboard. Yes. Uh, flash decks have been sort of maintaining their popularity, perhaps even more so because people like Matt Costa, Jerry Thompson, uh, AJ Soccer have been pushing the Bant deck. Um, how is your Bant matchup? Um, I think the matchup's really good, actually, because Fiend Hunter is so good against Advent of the Worm. Uh, so you, you have like a really good answer to Advent of the Worm, and then you also have like Death Touch with like Acidic Slime to block it as well. So you're not really losing to Advent of the Worm that much. And then coming out of the sideboard, Voice of Resurgence, 
is just uh, so good against them because that deck pretty much operates 100% at instant speed. And they have a lot of tricks like, you know, Celestia Charm, Azorius Charm, sometimes like Simic Charm, and just having a voice like means you can attack with impunity and not worry about it. Exactly. Now you're also running uh, Renounce the Guild, which is another addition from Dragon's Maze. What is Renounce the Guild chiefly for? Uh, pretty much Jund. Uh, I put that card in there because I wanted an answer to Sire of Insanity. Uh, I'd played like a couple games with this deck, not a lot, but some, and uh, Sire was super scary from Jund, and I wanted another way to deal with it, and it's also good against Huntmaster and Olivia too. Sure. Uh, my clones are also fine against those cards, but it's nice to have more it's answers. It's also decent against Falconrath Aristocrat, uh, Geist of St. Traft, of course. Any Boros Reckoner deck, etc. Right. And yeah. also has the added bonus of getting rid of non-creature things, like Ral Zarek or Assemble the Legion. Yeah, exactly, and I don't have uh, any multicolor cards in my deck, so... Right, it's, even your Progenitor Mimics may be on the stack as multicolored, but they aren't in play as well. Right, unless I'm copying a multicolored creature. Right, like, uh, like one of your own voices, I suppose. Yeah. Um, and so, and you've also got two Syncopate in the sideboard. Those are the only counter spells in your 75. Why do you have two Syncopate in your sideboard? Uh, the reason to play Syncopate over like something like Dissipate or Negate is because, uh, for one, I want to hit creatures with it. Uh, like I, I'm bringing that card in against like decks like Jund again, and I want to be able to get their like Olivia's and their like Sire of Insanities and the like. So I, I definitely don't want Negate, and Dissipate can be hard to cast because of the double blue commitment. Sure. So Syncopate is just a li little easier to cast with Arbor Elf and Avacyn's Pogrom and Farseek. Uh, you have a lot of mana, so it's usually not too hard to have like the right mana to counter this spell. Okay. We're about halfway through the tournament. You're doing very well. At the moment, you're four and one. By yep. the time this video goes up, you'll have won the tournament. What uh, uh, what changes would you make to the deck that you see now that you would make in, in future tournaments? Honestly, like that's a tough question because I've been I've been extremely happy with the deck. I actually I can't think of a whole lot I would change. Uh, I kind of want a second Aetherling in there. That that's the that card's been awesome in the main deck. You have one main. And I have one side right. I would like a second one main. It, it's just been super good uh, against everything except like Naya Blitz or you sure. know red green or whatever. But excellent. Well, this is. I, I can't imagine this not being a player in the coming metagame. Uh, if it's got the BBD seal of approval, it's it's got to be good. And uh, it also has Cackling Counterpart in it. Like, how can you deny Cackling right, exactly. Counterpart? Exactly. When your opponent has three creatures in play and you have an Angel of Serenity in play that doesn't have anything under it, you just start cackling. Ah. BBD, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, no problem.